Hi, I'm Christine Milne, Australian Greens Senator for Tasmania. This is a fantastic day, the 12th of February 2008. Here we are in Canberra, a convert Indigenous people from right across Australia, here at the Federal Parliament because today we had a welcome to country in the Federal Parliament for the new Parliament. It's never happened before. It's something the Greens have campaigned for for years. Tomorrow there will be the apology to the stolen generation. To have that apology at last is something all Australians have wanted. Indigenous people have longed for it, but the Greens want to go far further than that. What we want to do is not only have the apology, but appropriate compensation. We want a treaty that recognises the sovereignty of Indigenous people. Bob Brown's here speaking today, Rachel Seawood speaking, Kerry Nettles here. It's a fantastic day for this country. Our respects to the Ngunnawal people, the traditional owners of the lands on which we are meeting, it always was and always will be Aboriginal land. This is racist legislation, otherwise they wouldn't have to exempt it from the Racial Discrimination Act. Yeah. Why is taking people's land away, taking their income away, taking the permit system away, fix the, uh, the gap in and the problems that have been evident in the NT because of lack of resources provided by, by successive governments? The NT intervention is the Howard way of doing business and what we're seeing at the moment is the Rudd government continuing the Howard agenda. But we say no and we will comprehensively oppose this legislation and do everything, everything we can to overturn it at every turn. Everywhere we go, we will do our damnedest to stop this legislation. You don't have our total commitment on that. We are not yet a whole country because we have not yet recognised the first Australians who occupied this great land of ours, who were part of and are part of, and will always be part of, the soil, the living fabric, the wildness, the tameness of this magnificent Australia. We today, I salute the Rudd government for having what should have happened so long before, a welcome to country for us latecomers in the parliament of this country and for tomorrow moving to an apology for the stolen generations. We should move on to an apology for the colonialisation, yeah. the taking of land, the taking of country, for the heartache, for the agony which goes on and which we have not yet healed. We should move on. We should have First Australians on the floor of the Parliament tomorrow to listen and respond because it is your country. If it's good enough for George Bush and President Who, it is good enough and better to have the first Australians in our Parliament on the floor of our The first Australians everywhere. I will move this afternoon through notice tomorrow that we move on for an apology to just and proper compensation to those who have lost an agony. Yeah. And then we must move on to recognition of original sovereignty, yeah. of country, yeah. of a treaty, so that we can all be one Australian moving into the future. of this country and we look forward to a day when not we join you in being whole Australians because we recognise this whole country comes from first Australians, is from first Australians 
and we are here as custodians and sharing with the people who have kept this continent so beautiful, so magnificent, down through time immemorial. We're on the road, but we are not yet there, and we will be with you down that road to the trees.